Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's the Covenator here doing a new playthrough series on Kingdom Come Deliverance. I've had my eye on this one for a while, and it just came out so I had to pick it up. I love single player RPGs with a good story, but this one does things a bit differently. We will get to more of that as we play. For now, let's just get right into it. It's very immersive, so that means for the best experience possible, I highly recommend that you turn off the lights and wear headphones. So what makes it different, you ask? Well, there's no magic, no fireball or lightning to hurl at your enemies, no monsters or dragons, there's no races, you don't get to roll your character, and above all, you're not a badass like Geralt of Rivia. You're a nobody. A peasant, a commoner. Starting out in the brutal world of Bohemia in the year 1403. This is a historically accurate medieval simulation. We will have to use our wits and our strength to survive. And this is my first time playing, so please bear with me on the controls. There are many ways of accomplishing things, some better than others, but I, for one, am up to the challenge. Well, husband, how goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. At this hour? Blue-blooded idler. Well, it looks like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. <laughs> Go and get the lazy bones up then. Quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm -hmm. Henry, get up now. There's work to be done. Get up or I'll come get you up, you slugger bed. Hear that? You'd better not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You'd better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. Oh, don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself, is all. Hmm, well, just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. Now get up, you rogue. A fine state you're in this morning. What on earth did you get up to last night? 
By means of the first two choices in this dialog, you can select your character's default characteristics. If you're not satisfied with them, don't worry. All the characteristics can be further developed without limitations. I'm going to do, I am working in the I was forge. sweating in the forge all day yesterday, and then I was helping Fritz and Matthew with some errands. So I'd say I have a right to be a bit tired. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand. And that suspicious looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. I was with Bianca. Do you want a blow-by-blow -blow account of everything we did? What's this, an interrogation? All right, all right. Sorry, son. It's just that I worry about you. Thanks, Ma, but I'm not four years old. I know, Hal. You've grown up in front of my eyes. It's hard to get used to it. Did Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. They shouldn't be hard to find. They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. That's unfair. Really? So where were you until the small hours last night? I was... with Bianca, of course. You mean at Bianca's tavern? And who was there with you? No, don't tell me. Let me guess. Matthew and Fritz. Well, at least you were with Bianca. You should hold on to that one, Hal. She's a clever girl. And invite her for supper sometime. Your father's very fond of her. No, of course he is. He thinks he'll be able to wheedle the secret of beer brewing out of her. <laughs> You're right there. You'd think he was planning to become a brewer in his dotage. Still, that's your father for you. At least he's interested in something, unlike you lot. You're too busy getting into mischief to do an honest day's work. If Fritz and Matthew carry on this way, they'll wind up swinging one day. You mark my words. Is father angry with me for sleeping late? He's not happy. Yesterday you promised him you'd help finish that sword for Sir Radzik. He's not as young as he was. And you know how his joints pain him. He's too proud to complain. But he needs your help, Henry. I know. Don't worry, Ma. Of course I'll help him. Good. He always says his knees ache when there's a storm coming. I hope they're wrong this time. It's looking like such a nice day. All right, we can move around with WASD, left shift, jump, walk, and interact with E. I'm used to F, so that might be a little bit of a problem. Let's see what else we can pick up in here. Go see what's in the pot. It looks like beans. Yum. Let's see what else is in here. Some nails, a bandage, and what is that? Okay, I'll take that as well. Let's see what else we can find in here. Steel? Don't I don't I live here? <laughs> That's kinda weird. Um Oh, well, I can take this. I'll take all of that. <laughs> uh, 
Yes, you can steal in this game. Stealing is confirmed. Um, you need lockpicks to open up chests, and some can be pretty hard, difficult to get open. More beans. There's the hen house, but no chickens. All right, well, I guess let's go see Father. It's a very pretty game. Um, I have everything running on Ultra, except for uh, shaders. I did have to turn that down a little bit to get my frame rate up. What's the matter with you, Henry? Didn't you hear me calling you? Okay, sometimes you'll need the power of persuasion to achieve your goals. So we can use uh, speech, which is influenced by reputation that you have at the moment, the person you're talking to. Uh, also, social status is paramount, so the quality of your tire, how well groomed you are uh, with your reputation can make a big difference. If we look dangerous, people will be f afraid to cross you, but will be more willing to assign risky tasks. We can also rely on money to do the talking for us. Uh, we can also use our other skills. And it looks like, um, you know, for the most part, different approaches work on different people. And uh, I can see where they're going with this. Uh, basically, we're comparing our numbers to what their numbers are, which we might know or might not know. So uh, we have to use that to our advantage. So my highest one is Sorry, Father. this one. I was taking a stroll and lost track of time. Somehow I had a feeling I was seeing everything for the first time. How, my boy? When are you going to get some sense? Anyway, we have a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunesh? That drunkard? <laughs> that'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his arse. Sure he'll be happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sasso. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now, work won't wait. Alright, most quests can be completed in different ways. Eloquence can help with win friends. Inconspicuous person can totally avoid trouble if you'd rather not beat around the bush. Violence can also be an option. And we'll have to keep that in mind. Where am I going here? Let's see, M for map. That looks like one of our objectives is right here. Pick up the cross guard. Okay. We can do that. I'll be with you. I'm with you, Henry. How are you? Father sent me. We're forging a sword for Sir Radzig, and the Chamberlain has the cross guard and grip. Father had them engraved in Sassau. Right. They're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so fine. I can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. When did I ever botch anything? Where shall I start? 
Ah, shut up and give me what I want, or I'll kick your ass this evening. Right away, your lordship. Magnificent. Shame I can't keep the sword for myself. Well, I'd better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. Godspeed. See you later in the tavern. You certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. All right, job done. One down, one to go. Let's see, what should we do next? You can find all the information about quests in the log with J. Okay, sword fighting lesson, mega charcoal, collect depths from Kanish. Let's go collect the debt. And we need 10 bags of charcoal. And according to my compass, yep, he's that way. God be with you, Kunesh. What do you want? My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer, and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. That was I very nice. My father for a lot more than just the axe and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep water. At least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. I told you I have no coin, you bastard. Get the hell out of here, or I'll use the axe on you. All right, I'm gonna go intimidation here. I must have misheard you. It sounded like you just told me to clear off. But you wouldn't be stupid enough to think you can steal, not pay your debts, and then try to scare me, would you? You son of a whore. How dare you speak to me like that? Didn't your thieving father teach you any manners? No? Well, I'll teach you then. Whoa, I did not expect to be put into combat so soon. Okay, uh, let's break this down. Left click slash. Right click stab, F kick, tap, lock onto the opponent. So I'm gonna, you wanna use that right away. Left shift to unlock. Q to block. Attack direction, stamina. Once it's depleted, we won't be able to defend ourselves. Health. Yeah, we bleed, we die. Wounds icon. Purple bar is his health. Okay. Alright. Here goes nothing. Man, I can't touch. I can't hit this guy. <laughs> Is that the best you can do? Oh, you're going down. I'm gonna steal all your chickens. This dude is kicking my ass. Take that! Way off. Ow. Ow. Oh. Bring it on. All right, I'm doing something very wrong here. Oh, there was a good hit. Bloody hell. I just gotta it just looks like I just have to switch it up a little bit. Like I can't do the same attack direction, like I gotta do left and then right real quick. And uh, I keep forgetting to hit Q to block. That was a good hit. There we go. Making some progress now. Oh. 
Oh. Oh, no. Back away, get your stamina. Reach it. Yeah, now, now you're thinking twice, aren't you? Uh, you know, <laughs> I'm having a good time doing this. Oh, I blackened his eye. Oh, wait. I have to figure out how to stop that from happening. There we go. He owns me with that knee to the face. There we go. Get some hits in. Bartka. What? Oh, ow. Here we go. Oh, oh apparently I have a serious wound. I don't have time to read stuff right now. Oh, he's got a bloody his lip. Oh. Oh, back away. Oh, too late. You had it Go to mother. And your old man can fuck off too. <laughs> Go to mother and get patched up. Okay, level of health also determines maximum level of stamina. It's good to heal yourself. Well, I do have some bandages, but I think I'm going to go to mommy and get patched up. I mean, I'm like half dead. See, now if I was playing the Witcher right now, I would, you know, have like killed a dragon already or something. Or a big griffin or something. Here I am getting beat up by a drunk. Ma? Mommy? Ah, Ma! I, I'm hurt. You won't stop bleeding. Oh, now, <laughs> stop squealing like a baby and show me that. There you are, good as new. You ought to good learn to do new. that yourself. Thanks, Ma. Wow. Back in business. All right, what else we got to do? Well, we can't... Uh, don't have any money that's the problem I have to I have to get if I can't get the money for the hammer and the nails uh, try another way can I can I steal if you want to sneak somewhere make sure no one sees or hears you whether you're seen or not depends on light, your posture, your clothing. Uh, wow. Even what kind of attire you're wearing, like what kind of shoes and stuff. Um, does everybody eat beans around here? Hmm. A locked chest. I'll need a lockpick to get into that. Fritz might have one. Okay. I guess we're going to find Fritz. You can't be serious, Deutsch. Insulting our king. What insult? I say only the truth. Sigismund has done only what he had to. I had to. He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tatars and besiege Kutenberg. Why not? What is this Wenceslas for a king? 
The empire is falling asunder in his hands. The German counts elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. German counts, traitors. Now even the Pope God be with is you, opposed Henry. to your king. I'm with you, Matthew. So What's going on here? Deutsche spouting shit. What? Just listen and you'll hear for yourself. Someone has to bring order and reunite the empire. What do I care about the Austrians? And nowadays, not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the rightful pope? The one in Rome or the one in Avignon? Do not blaspheme, Alex. No, it's true, though. Wenceslas is the king of Bohemia. Bohemian nobles are on his side. To hell with Rosenberg and his cabal. Sir Ratzik is Wenceslas' commander-in-chief. He stayed loyal to the king. And if he heard you talking like this, he would have you whipped like a dog. Your deal will soon have nothing left to rule. Jobs had to sell Luxembourg to help your king. South Bohemia is with Sigismund and... don't and forget about Gutenberg, where Germans like you kissed Sigismund's feet to keep their heads. Yes, but... Goodman Deutsch, this is pointless. Let us talk of more pleasant things. My words exactly. Deutsch has gone too far. Wenceslas is our rightful king. Deutsch is an idiot. But what can you do? I might have an idea. Deutsch deserves to be taught a lesson. Doesn't he, Fritz? You're too old, right, Matthew. We should give him a proper hiding. Are you mad? Do you want to end up in the pillory? Don't listen to Fritz. I've got a better idea. Deutsch was talking such shit, it made me think of that huge pile of manure. You know, the one right next to his freshly whitewashed house. <laughs> you think we should redecorate for him? Count me in. Well, I'd rather torch it, to be honest. But, doing some tears will do. What do you say, Henry? <laughs> but I was going to get ale for father and a few other things. We're finishing Sir Radzik's sword. Come on. Doing a few handfuls of manure is not going to take all day. And it's our duty to defend the honor of our king. So, how? Are you with us? I like Fritz. Throwing turds will do. In a black screen of death. What's going on here? Oh, look at this. I'll do it, but I'll need your help in return. Alright, I'll do it. But then you have to give me a hand with something. What do you need? Kuna shows money to father and doesn't want to pay. I tried talking to him, but he wouldn't listen. I need more than words to get coin out of him, and I can't handle it on my own. No problem. We'll back you up. Just as soon as we're done plastering Deutsch's house. I'll be happy to sort out that drunken oaf. Alright, let's go while Deutsch is still sitting safely in the tavern. Alright, let's go, uh... Let's go throw some turds at the house. Why not? No, I should, uh, I should talk to Fritz and see if I can get those lock pits, picks. Listen, there's this locked chest I need to get into. Really? An only stray not good enough for you anymore? It's just that someone has something that doesn't belong to him, and I want to take it back. <laughs> if you say so. It's not skin off my nose anyway. I've got some lock picks you can have, but if you get caught... You didn't get them from me. <laughs> Never heard of you. Thanks, Fritz. So are we doing this or not? Wait. We have to check that the coast is clear. Why? The Deutsch is in the tavern. But maybe you noticed after all these years that he has a wife and a son. And that's a problem? Aye, it is. Henry, you go and lure her away somehow. Why me? <laughs> because you're the clever one. Yeah. 
Fletcher, send the guy that looks like he got run over by six horses to talk to the fair lady. What do you want, lad? I mean, look at me. <laughs> I just went by the tavern, like... and your husband was in there talking nonsense. I thought someone should take him home before he gets himself in trouble. What sort of nonsense? Well, uh, well, he kept saying that Sigismund was right and King Wenceslas is a drunkard, that sort of thing. Some people took exception, so I thought... God almighty! The fool! Next thing he'll start on about the Popes! He might have mentioned the Popes too. Thank you for telling me. I just hope I can catch him before he gets into another fight. What are you waiting for, soldier? Fire the trebuchet! For king and country! For king and country, my ass! This is all good, clean, fun! <laughs> Nearly as good as having that traitor in the pillory. Nearly. Now that would be sweet. <laughs> That's for Sigismund! Woohoo! Eat shit, doshes! You bastards! What the fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> Hey, Hans, can't you see? We're decorating your house for you. It's like your old man was saying in a tavern about that traitor Sigismund. We're just doing what we have to do. Oh, Hans! I'll make those smites off your faces! Oh, I'd like to see you try. What are you doing here, Zbizek? Hanging out with this boxy Deutsche? Maybe you'd like to try out the latest German fashion. Oh! <laughs> Fuck her! I'll make you pay for that! <laughs> Alright, it's on. <laughs> it is on. Oh! <laughs> Fritz. Get him, Fritz. Yeah. 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 Fucked him up. Oh, this guy's a wuss. <laughs> Take a knee to the face. <laughs> He's down already. Uh-oh. Run! Somebody die. called the law. And we better fucking run oh, too. Where do I go? I don't know where to go. Can I go hide in here? Can I go hide in here? You know, I, I don't. <laughs> I don't feel like this is far enough away from the scene of crime. See, can I can I hop this fence? Oh, I can hop the fence. Okay, don't mind me. I'm just back here hanging out with the chickens. Not that I'm a chicken or anything. Just hanging out with the chickens. Well, I have to say, uh, too early to do a review on this game or anything. But this is a uh, refreshing change of pace, I guess I should say. Uh, I wonder how long I have to hide. Should I just kind of hang out here? Oh, there, there goes somebody running by. Okay, objective complete. Meet the lads at Kanish. That was hilarious. Now we're gonna... Now we're gonna beat this drunk within an inch of his life. I'm ready. I'm gonna beat him up and I'm gonna steal from him.
Oof. He's gone. Fucking Deutsch. That was close. I almost got caught thanks to that damn Deutsch. Well, we sorted that Deutsch out. <laughs> that was pretty close, eh? That old bastard didn't stand a chance. True, but I'm worried that fucker Hans will snitch on us. Well, let him. Then I'll snitch on him. And anyway, what can they do to us for throwing a bit of dung? Good point. It's not as if anyone really likes the Deutsch. I need a hand with Kunesh. Sure, mate. You helped us, so we'll help you. Let's get to it then. Be a bit more careful. Oh, the revenge is going to be so sweet. Kunesh, get out here, you old goat. I've something to show you. Well, he's not in a hurry to get his ass beat, is he? What the fuck well, are you maybe here he is. for? You want me to take a whip to you or call a catch pole? Just try it, you old drunk. Fuck. What's up? Shit yourself. Gone weak at the knee. What is it with the knee? Stop with the knee. And why aren't they beating him up? They're gonna sit here. There you go. Get him. Oh my god. Enough! Enough! I give up. Take what you want. It's not much, but it's all I have. You understand? Maybe all you have, but it's mine now. We'll start with his axe right here. I wonder if I could have used that on him. So is there anything else back here? Nope. Thanks, guys. Let's see, is there anything else anywhere? Maybe in the other room? Man, this guy doesn't have anything. I've noticed something else that's weird. There's no beds, like, anywhere. Did everybody just sleep on the table or something? Oh. Oh, so we can't rob him. Because there's nothing to really steal. He, and he gave us the keys to the chest, so... But, uh... Yeah, there's several different ways you could have finished this quest. You could rob him, you could... Maybe I beat him in the fight um, the first time. You get your friends to help. Uh, I guess if our speech was high enough, we could have talked our way out of it. I've eaten too much. I'll be clumsy until I digest everything. Kind of like in real life. Okay, we still need the charcoal. What's B? Why can't I see what B is? can see what E and A is. I can't see what B is. Okay. B is the sword fighting lesson. Well, maybe we should do that. <clears throat> now that we've uh, got some practice at punching people, maybe we should go do some sword hey, stuff. Do you want to learn something? Have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? Oh, it was nothing. Except Mother noticed and had a word or two to say about it. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. But the world's a dangerous place and I need to know how to protect myself. Spoken like a man. And as it happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck in? Yes. All right, I wait on the ground by the sheepfold as usual.
Alrighty then. I guess we just follow him. He said to wait. Are those are those are those sheep? Oh, I wonder if I can herd the sheep. Can I herd the sheep? I am herding sheep. <laughs> herding sheep confirmed. Uh, let's see, what, what are you guys going to do when you hit the fence, huh? Huh? What are you going to do? You have nowhere to go. I have nowhere to get. Uh, oh, okay. Fine. Alright. Sorry, I had a squirrel moment there. So, can we get started? We can. Good. And since today is the last time we'll be seeing each other, you can show me everything I've taught you so far. Very well. Let's start with the basics. Keep moving. Your life depends on it. All right, all right. Now try to hit me. You have to put your weight into your attack. If you just fiddle around, you'll get nowhere. Try slashing from different sides. Unpredictability is the key. Never repeat yourself. Okay, this is uh, similar to punching. But it actually feels a little smoother. It actually it feels a little better. Stabbing. Tried a few times. Stabby, stabby. Stabby, stabby. Man, I just want to hit this guy once. Who am I kidding? I'm just a peon. Good. Oh, there we go. Good, good. Let's try something else. One strike, I can fend off without a sweat. But if you chain your strikes, I'll have a much harder time. As soon as you land one blow, follow it with another. Uh, okay. I wasn't quick enough that time. This might be one of those things that take a little bit of practice. Good. Once again. That's it. All right. That's enough. I don't know about you, but I'm tired and thirsty. Remember, Jesus. Look where you're going. <laughs> oh yeah. <sighs> what is it? Jesus! Look where you're going! Hey! Okay. Need to buy the charcoal. <laughs> Greetings. Okay, we got no money, so we gotta sell some things first. Okay, I kind of want to keep hold on to my food, but I'll sell the onion. And uh, can we do both at the same time? Looks like we can. And I needed 10 charcoal. Oh, 
Okay. Can we do something about the price? I. Okay, haggling works both ways, whether you want to buy cheap or sell dear. Just like the amount you want to do it, WS, confirm with E. It's just a moving slider that we move up and down. That's uh, pretty self-explanatory. If the slider can't be moved in one direction or the other, it means that you or the trader don't have enough money. And we have the coin down at the bottom. Uh, okay, so they have a certain amount of patience. So once that coin fills up, it's the haggling is over. So let's see. I'm gonna go. I'm only gonna have 0.2 gold after it's all said and done. I'd like to at least have a gold Sorry? piece left over. It's not worth it to me. Oh come on. I'm giving you all that stuff. Oh, he came up to 0.7. So let me at least just do... Let's do one gold. Give me one gold. Give me one gold. Satisfied? That sounds pretty interesting. A little less and I'll be satisfied. Really? Oh, man. Um... Tough luck. I think I went in the wrong direction there. <laughs> Oops. Um, well, let me let's try this again. Oh, do we have to go through the whole process again? We do. My apologies. Okay, we'll uh, sell the axe, sell the hammer, sell the nails, and then the onion, and then go to buy. And, uh, how do I do that? Okay, charcoal. And then E to add to basket. Tin. Check basket. Hold X to haggle. Let's have a word about the price. Why not? Okay, so this time... <laughs> I can't help it. I can't help it. Tough luck. Uh, he, he, he doesn't even want to talk to me anymore. He's just like, we're done, dude. We, we're done. I, you know, I could gamble. I could take my five gold and I could double it, maybe. I just don't want to have nothing. You know, I feel like... God almighty. <laughs> Has something happened to you? Did someone steal your fancy clothes? <laughs> I do look a little bit, a little bit scary, don't I? Uh, he doesn't have uh, any charcoal. We might be in trouble here. Let's see if this guy will help us out. Greetings. Oh, he's got all kinds of stuff, and he's got charcoal. Okay. And it's cheaper too, so. Okay, sell the axe, sell the hammer, sell the nails. Sell the onion. Can't forget about that. It was only at 17% freshness. Alright, now we'll buy the charcoal. But does he have 10? Yes, he does. Thank you, kind sir. I will take all that you have. And we're going to have 1.7 gold after. That is so much better than the, the douchebag. Sure, why not? I can't... I'm going to haggle on top of it. I'm going to walk away here with two gold pieces. And we won't be too mean. We'll just go halfway. Go to three. Maybe 2.9. That's everything. You won't convince me with that. Okay. All right, 2.1. God save Henry. So I'll get home. Maybe 2.4? We agreed. What are you looking for? Your fields we'll take a bit more than We're getting there. Home. Just drop the price a bit more. Winter, oh, for God's sake. These people are brutal. You know what? Should we do 2.3 and risk it? 
No, I'm just I'm just going to give him the 2.2. And maybe I'll do the 2.3. I don't know. I'll do the 2.2. I knew we'd come to an arrangement. All right, I feel so much better now. Uh, the only thing else we need is the ale. God save my lovely. You're looking well today. She's gonna freak out. <laughs> you too, handsome. What brings you here? Your beauty, of course. <laughs> oh, noble sir. I'm as honored as any simple maid can be. And apart from my beauty, what else might your worship desire? I need ale for father. A pitcher as usual? Aye. Bring me a cool one from the cellar. <laughs> but of course. Apparently she doesn't mind that I'm all banged up. Here you are. Thanks. It's on me today. <laughs> you can pay me back this evening. Out of the question. Here you go. And this evening I'll have something more for you. <laughs> I can't wait. Thanks. You'll have something to look forward to this evening. <laughs> you too. Oh, um, by the way, that shifty looking fellow was asking after you. Maniac. I suppose. He is a man who makes his coin robbing honest wayfarers. I'm sure of it. I'll be happy when he's gone for good. But what in heaven's name are you up to with him? He promised to teach me how to use a sword. What use would that be to you? Enough. You sound just like father. I'll be going now. See you this evening. Hal, I've got something special for you. Is that so? Now what would that be? Your favorite, Savior Schnapps. Really? You're an angel. <laughs> I hope you'll thank me properly later. You bet I will. Alright, the game auto saves from time to time and important parts in each quest, point points in each quest, and when you sleep. So yeah, I remember reading about this. It's one of the things that people really don't like. You can't just save the game anytime you want unless you drink one of those potions or you sleep in your bed. Um, they're just trying to get... I, I see what they're after. They're trying to give your choices some real meaning and impact. You know, because a lot of people will just reload if they don't like the way something went down, or start the conversation all over again, kind of thing. They just don't want people to play the game that way. About time. Have you got everything I wanted? I have charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Well done. Right, let's see what kind of job the Master and Sassal did for us. <laughs> Look at that lad. Well, that's what I call craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? Damned if I know. Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe? Lord Radzig ordered it. Oh, this will be the finest sword I've ever made. We got the charcoal. Good. And fire up the forge. We'll put it all together. By the way, someone paid me a call. I reckon you might know what it was about. I'm not sure. Really? Because I'm pretty sure. You and your friends threw dung at Deutsch's freshly whitewashed house. He was here with the catchpole earlier, and it was not a friendly visit. What got into you, Hal? That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the King. He got what he deserved. Got what he deserved, did he? You can go and clean up the mess you made and apologize to him. I have a trade to run. The German pays well. 
And having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody, least of all the king. You understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. Do you understand? I understand. Good. Then we'll never have this conversation again. So you think it's right to let traitors speak ill of our king? <laughs> the boy gets caught making a fool of himself and he still hasn't learned his lesson. So Deutsch spouts rubbish and what? You turn into a common thug. You might win a fight with violence, but you'll never win an argument. Remember, Henry, if you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth and not your fists. The furnace is ready. Right, we'll do the grip. I'll heat it up, and when I take it out, you slip the grip on so it fits exactly. You know what you're doing. Do it. Oh, he should totally be wearing gloves right now. Good. Once more. Yeah, I wouldn't be doing that without gloves. That's it. Done. Now file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the guard. Father, why did you leave Prague? Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? <laughs> I had my reasons, Hal. And here I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other life? Do you remember Emperor Charles? I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague and a score of castles, had a bridge made over the Moldau and founded a university, and all without a war. He knew how to rule. Better than Wenceslas. Better by far. But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose like is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? Do you think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? Give it here, and we'll put it all together. My father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. Oh God, did I, did I sell the nails? I think I sold the nails. Here are those nails you wanted. That will do. Thanks. Go and get those damn so nails. So how's Bianca? Um, she's fine. Why do you ask? Just wondering, will you be going to the dance this evening? We will. Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, Henry, mustn't keep you. you. I'll be on my way. That sword is truly beautiful. Fine lass, eh? Now, stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the trial by fire. <laughs> we 
We did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsmith. Well, those days are gone, sir. Hmm. You haven't lost your skills, though. Would you like to try it? Sir, what good is a sword to a Let commoner? Let try it. I'm gonna tear that stick up. What is that? Oh, God. You still have a lot to learn. Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who knows? what the future holds for each of us. I see that you almost have it finished. It just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work, very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Sven? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls and I must leave. Here you are. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. I'm sure our paths will cross again. They certainly will. Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Sure. It's been an honor, Sir Ispa. Have a safe journey to Sassau. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. A long, peculiar history. <laughs> that was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Will you teach me how to use it, like Sir Radzik said? Why? Well, it could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green in the forge. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword. And then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. You talk as if you've seen it happen. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my days in Scalitz, here, beneath the linden tree and by your mother's side. Well, so do I, one day. But first, I'd like to see the world, meet new people. Meet them or beat them? Meet. You have to keep going on about it. <laughs> Then you've no need to learn swordplay. A messenger. He was in a hurry. What's happened? That's a little overkill. <laughs> you don't need that many people. Listen to me, Al. Listen carefully. Take the sword, go into the house, and grab anything else important from the trunk. Go to the castle. Hurry! What about you? Fetch her and we'll follow right behind. I'll go with you. No. You do what I say right now. Give the sword to Sir Radzik. If anything happens, he'll take care of you. He owes me.
Move! Come on, we're closing! Move in, people! Come on! We're come out of on! Time. Oh, Henry! Thank God! Get inside quick! We have to shut the Get gates! Get running, people! Come on! My mission, Are you mad? You can't go back! Get through the gates! All right, I guess we are running. Running. Ride to Townburg and get a horse. We're going to find a horse. I have no idea which way to go. I guess uh, uh. towards... Oh, what? What? Oh, wait a minute. I have the sword. Um, how do I pull it out? Uh, where is it? Okay. All right, we're going. We're going to do this. So this isn't a wooden sword battle. This is a real sword battle. We'll see how this goes. Run, God. <laughs> Lock on. Oh, ow. Okay, now I'm locked on. Cue to block. Oh. Oh, ow. Oh. That's going to leave a mark. I want one more try with that guy. Who am I fooling? I, I don't have any armor or training. That that wooden sword deal tutorial was a joke. I am going to book it. I'm burning my stamina. I'm going to book it down this hill. Uh, let's see. Easy. Hopefully, he won't catch up to me. You pigs! Go 
Don't touch me, or I'll kill you! Go to hell, you turtle! Okay, horse riding, WASD, caps lock. Gives your horse a chance to recover. From what? From running, maybe? Uh, w, left shift, canter, faster pace, W, left shift, left shift, gallop. Uh, okay, I don't really understand those controls. We'll figure it out. And what do we got going on here? Oh, really? Oh, don't give me stuff to look at right now. Puppy job on the ass. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this was a mistake. Um, I I meant to pull out my sword there, but I apparently punched him in the back of the head. Time to go. Time to. Whoa, my horse is all over the place. Get back on the road. Eat my dust. Okay. I guess we're just gonna ride to the next town. Oh, it's real. Oh great, uh, oh, they are not happy with me, I have a bleeding wound so we're going to be bleeding out this whole time, that's just, that's just fantastic. I don't care about waypoints right now, I have a problem, and uh, Left, Talmor gets to the left along the stream. Oh, this is intense. Left. Flee! Go! They I'll are not giving up. Get out of the way! I am just about out of stamina, and these guys are going to catch up to me. I'm almost halfway dead. I got two things going on. Uh, t two icons that are not, they don't look like good icons on my bar there. Oh, hurry up. Get the stamina back. Oh. One the others. They okay. tore it scallops. Gallop. Go. Why are these run guys walking? It. Run. Driving this horse is not easy. It's it's weird. It's like uh, I don't know. It's hard to explain. It's can, I'm not driving with my mouse. I'm basically using the keyboard. Oh, thank goodness.
Someone give him a drink and bring hot wine and bandages. Tell me, boy, who are you and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground, slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning, and, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tartars? Tartars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. Grit your teeth, boy. I'm gonna pull that arrow out. Easy. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? There you go. Good as new. Thank you. If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage? Sir, this is a survivor from- I heard, Robart. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the insigns of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? So, um, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a strange language. They burned Scalitz to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scalos is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. You think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. All right, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more, just uh, hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll do some more videos. Um, I am having a blast. Um, I've heard that uh, that the story is really, really good, so I'm looking forward to playing a lot more. <laughs>